Slip and falls are a very, very frequent occurrence here in Las Vegas. Um, they shouldn't happen, but they often do. Um, typically when we deal with a slip and fall case, it's because of a liquid, um, melted ice. Um, a lot of times it's the, uh, the type of, of floor that they're on. Um, high polished uh, porcelain, high polished marble floor. Um, they really do it to beautify the place, but at the same time, um, you know, it's a really unsafe flooring choice. The big issue with those is the friction issues. Uh, they're not anti-slip floors. And when you have a high propensity for liquids, such as uh, drinks, alcohol, which are in abundance here in Las Vegas, uh, the combination really uh, adds up to uh, a lot of slip and fall cases. Often we'll see slip and falls where the, um, the slopage uh, or the drainage is improper, especially at the, uh, at the pool settings here. Um, trip and fall cases uh, can be just as uh, horrific as slip and fall cases, and those also uh, are, should be rectified. We have uh, uneven uh, surfaces, uh, parking blocks where they have exposed rebar. Often we'll find untacked carpet in casinos uh, and poor lighting sometimes, and that all contributes uh, to a lot of the uh, accidents that we see here in Las Vegas with the tourists. Proving a slip and fall case is uh, it's really the job of the attorney. You've got to look for uh, relevant case law, look at the facts to try and come up with a uh, conceivable um, case. And what we look for is really building code violations. We look at OSHA. Um, the American with Disabilities Act is an excellent resource. Any kind of city ordinance or code that will show that we've got a what we call a per se violation of the law. Those are easy ways to prove if you've got a, a clear violation. Uh, that certainly gives us grounds to go forward with a case. If we look at uh, current law that we, we have here in Nevada and one of our favorite case law, or at least one of the jury instructions that we use is what we call the Sprague instruction. And that really helps us prove a case. And that, that basically says if a landlord or proprietor has created a hazard um, through their own doing, um, that liability then can be proven against them. Uh, we call that imputed liability. And that, uh, that really uh, puts the knife uh, in the cake when we're going for a case. So depending on what type of case we are doing, um, if, it's a, if it's a water case or a, a slip and fall on produce section of a grocery store, uh, we look at every available remedy that we can uh, when we try and prove a case. 